The instrument briefing gives a lot of IFR students grief during training. You're busy flying off the panel, trying to keep the needle centered, and your instructor is asking you to pull up the plate and brief it. Here we are approaching Hackney from the south. A lot of times, students will race through the brief and it'll go something like this. Okay, we have the RNAV to runway 4 into Laurel Municipal. The plate is current. The WASP channel is 7422. The approach course is 036 degrees. The runway landing distance is 5199. The touchdown zone elevation is 3488. The airport elevation is 3543. For uncompensated barrel VNAV systems, LNAV VNAV not authorized below negative 21 Celsius or above 54 Celsius. When local altimeter setting not received, use billings. Barrel VNAV and VDP not authorized when using billings. Runway 4 helicopter visibility reduction below 3 quarter mile not authorized. The missed approach is to climb to 4300, then climbing right turn to 7000, direct to jibes, and hold. The AWAS is 13505, approach is on 119.2, CTAF is on 123.05. Procedure is not authorized for arrivals at Repo on Victor 2 or 86 westbound. The procedure is not authorized for arrivals at Hackney on Victor 465 southbound. The minimum safe altitude is 8600 feet. Hackney is the initial approach fix, Jibes is the intermediate fix, Nerky is the final approach fix, and Runway 4 is the missed approach point. The LPV minimums are 3783 in 1 mile, the LNAV VNAV minimums are 3981 in 1 mile, the LNAV minimums are 3980 in 1 mile, and runway 4 is 5199 feet long. Whew, that was a technically a correct and complete brief, but simply reading through everything on the plate isn't going to help us at all. I didn't process much, if any, of that information. The instrument brief needs to set you up to actually fly the procedure, and it should proceed like a little story of what's going to happen. Ideally, you should have already built the approach into your avionics with GPS and frequencies and have all your autopilot and navigation bugged before briefing. And the briefing is your way to confirm. Here's what that looks like. Okay, we're flying the RNAV to runway 4 into Laurel Muni, and the plate is current. This is a WAS-enabled approach, and as our unit is WAS-equipped, we'll expect to fly to LPV minimums. We've got the approach course bugged on our NAV-1. We have plenty of runway landing distance available for our Cessna 172. The touchdown zone elevation is a few thousand feet above sea level. That'll affect performance a bit, but again, we have plenty of runway to work with. Let's see if we need to take any notes into account. We're not shooting a barrow-assisted approach, so we ignore the first note. We have the local altimeter, so we ignore the next two notes. We're not in a helicopter, so we ignore the last note. Let's confirm that we have the AWAS on COM-2 active. We're talking to Billings Approach on COM-1 active, and we have CTAF on COM-1 standby. Now we're going to join the approach from Hackney, where we cross at or above 7000. We proceed to jibes, and due to the no PT note, we won't be doing the course reversal. We then turn inbound on the approach course and intercept the glide path at 6000 feet around Nurki. Since we're on the LPV, we ignore the step down at Kamud, and we also ignore the VDP. We'll go down to the decision altitude at 3783. If we get to that altitude on the glide slope and don't have the visual cues or required visibility of one mile needed to continue, we'll execute a missed approach, which involves a straight ahead climb to 4,300 feet and a climbing right turn to 7,000 direct jibes. If we lose communications or have any other emergency, we'll keep in mind the minimum safe altitude of 8,600 feet. Landing on runway 4, we'll plan to exit right on either that taxiway one third of the way down the runway or the next one about two thirds down the runway. So then you might say, any questions to your co-pilot or your instructor? You might brief any specific risks that might come up, like weather or otherwise. And now you're in the right headspace for the approach. You've flown it in your head before you've even arrived at the beginning of the procedure. That's really the point of the brief, is to get you ahead of the aircraft. For more IFR training, check out Flight Insight Ground School today at the link here or in the description.